Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today is an advanced assassin's guide. Today we're going to be looking at the PvP of both Sage and Demon assassins. Now, straight out of the box, when you just when you start an assassin. The Sage class, with all of its normal skills, is going to be geared towards PvE. Also, all of the, the normal skills for, for a Demon Assassins are geared towards PvP. However, as you are creating new skills, as you are churning out skills in your Crucible, I do have a guide to how to get Joe's rare skills. It is a little difficult for Assassins since it's a very popular class and you will be fighting with everyone else to get these skills so it may be tough at the beginning to get these rare skills however if you are able to this is great the rare skills changes everything for sage there are two insanely powerful rare skills that you have to get if you want to sage it makes the sage not only pve but also pvp now the sage class has a different type of buff we'll talk about that later let's talk about the most overpowered skill ever this is bloodlet bloodlet is amazing skill it will after you attack 30 times there will be at level 10 a 25 percent physical attack per second for five seconds all right so 25 percent so it's 25 percent at level 10 and level 15 it is 35 percent of your attack so that is huge damage it is a damage over time level 15 get it to level 15 as soon as possible 35 percent of your physical attack per second for five seconds now stealth Stealth is Sage 2. This is Sage 2 skills. Bloodless Sage 1. Sage 1 and Sage 2 skills are relatively, they, they come out easier. They come out of the Crucible easier. Sage 3 and Sage 4 are rarer skills. Now for Sage 1 and Sage 2, let's talk about them since they're both very important. Stealth at level 10 will reduce your Shadow Walk, which has a 20 second skill cooldown by three seconds making it 17 seconds at level 15 stealth will make shadow walk only 15 and a half seconds so stealth at level 15 reduces sh shadow walks cooldown by four and a half seconds so that is amazing that is almost 25 percent cooldown reduction you will be able to go in attack and after 15 and a half seconds escape disappear into midair and appear across the battlefield wherever and they will never see you again okay normally it will take 20 seconds and you will probably be dead okay that four and a half seconds is very crucial last stand is a so so rare skill this is probably the worst rare skill for sage but it's still not bad it will increase the life steal you get when you drop down to 20 percent hp okay so this is uh normally it's 25 percent life steal for five seconds recommend that you make it level 10 to increase the life steal to five percent increase life steal by five percent making whenever you are less than 20 percent hp you will get 30 percent life steal now if you have last stand skill you will want to up your uh another skill called frenzied for blood this will lower the cooldown for bloodthirsty because this can only happen once every like 180 seconds so frenzied for blood will combo well with last stand now the reason that i have zero points in lethal dash is because this would be a pvp build and lethal dash is only good versus dungeons and monsters so in a pvp build lethal dash will be zero if in a pve build you can make it 10 or 15. 10 is probably best since you will have more points put into other skills now this sage 
this Sage PvP only works if you have bloodletting. You must have bloodletting. And we're going to go get ready for the final skill that will complete the PvP build of Sage Assassin. Sage 4 Blade Wind is perhaps the hardest and rarest to get assassin skill. Sage 4 skills, incredibly hard to get. Now what this will do, it will turn your rib strike into Blade Wind. Blade Wind is basically just a whirlwind of daggers, a whirlwind of blades that goes around you, okay? That deals at level 10. 20% of physical attack to everything within 4 meters for 5 seconds. Alright, so, so you turn into a whirlwind of blades. It will turn rib strike into a whirlwind of blades that deals 20% physical attack at level 10. At level 15, it will deal 30% physical attack. So even if people get close to you, they take damage from a whirlwind of blades. Now this is the rarest skill. It isn't the most crucial skill. You do have to look for bloodlet. Bloodlet is the most crucial skill. And similarly, I feel like for, for clerics, Serenity, also a Sage one, is the most crucial skill for clerics. Bloodlet is the most crucial skill. For Sage Assassins. Other notable skills is such as Hamstring, which is a nice PvP skill. It will actually root your enemy for additional 1.7 seconds, which will allow you to escape or allow you to take out someone who is trying to escape. Hamstring, very strong skill. Try to get that to 15. There is no particular reason why Topo is only two points. Topple should have 10 points. I just ran out of points because this isn't my main and it just doesn't have as many It just doesn't have as many skill points So as summary you will want 15 points into bloodlet 15 points into stealth 10 points into last stand 15 points into blade wind I mean if you have a lot more points you can you can make last stand 15 points as well Sage Assassins also have an incredibly strong buff when they use their skill stalk to teleport behind their enemies they will actually get a buff for 15 seconds that gives them 50% attack speed, 50% cast speed and 50% cooldown reduction. So this is huge huge buffs for 15 seconds. The Demon Assassin skill is different. After you have went invisible, once you've used your Shadow Walk, gone invisible, you have to wait 8 seconds in order to come out. You can decapitate, you can lock maw your enemies and seal them. But you have to be invisible for 8 seconds. After that, you have a 3 second buff that gives you 20% more attack, which is nice, but when you look at it, it forces you to be invisible and not helping your team, forcing you outside of the fight. You might as well be dead and respawning in 8 seconds. Secondly, if you come out of your invisibility one second early, you're going to lose your buff. It's going to punish you. Thirdly, it's a three second buff, okay? So you only get 20% more attack for three seconds. That's a pretty good buff, 20% 20, 20 attack. But the Sage that gives you 15 seconds, 15 seconds of godlike 50% attack speed, 50% casting speed, and cooldown reduction, this just gives the Sage the lasting power to finish the job. While a demon assassin has to burst down their enemies in three seconds, or they just they just go oomph, they just go flat. All right, let's talk about the demon skills. Demon skills are really good for PvP. However, <coughs> most of their skills, even their rare skills, are more of a crowd control 
and also escape skills, okay? So lots of escape, lots of crowd control, not pure damage. So in the end game, the Sage, uh, Sage Assassin is just going to be pretty freaking strong. There is one good thing for uh, Demon Assassin is that they have two seals, okay? They have two seals and they have uh, they can actually decapitate twice or they can lock maw twice. After you swift step, you will be able to decapitate again, okay? So it's, it's, it's a lot of damage very quickly, but then you have to go hide because your buff only lasts for three seconds. So, but I mean, if you are able to take care of the enemies in three seconds, it's fine. You can just go disappear and attack someone else. Now, here we go. Uh, your first seal will be from Lock Maw. And you have to do that after you go invisible. You can Lock Maw your enemy that will seal them. Your second uh, seal will come from Goo Shuriken. If you get Goo Shuriken up, you will be able to seal using your knife throw. Alright, Behead is a super strong skill. Uh, it will decrease your target's healing. And uh, this, this is very good if your enemy has a healer. If your enemy has a healer, if your enemy's team has a healer, be sure to have Behead. Having Behead will reduce their healing by one half making enemy clerics less useful. Viciousness is alright, that will buff your entire team's viciousness. However, at level 9 it only adds 29 viciousness. At level 10 it only adds 35 viciousness. Level 15 Goose Shuriken will cause your enemies to be slowed by 80% and there is 12.5% chance to seal them making them unable to use any skills this is pretty good pretty amazing now they can they can resist it using anti-silence what you would want to do is in your guild training as an assassin be sure to max silence level also get some silence on your substats of of your gears our decapitate is nice However, it, at max, it's like a uh, 3% increase in damage. M Assassin, you want to max M Assassin. I believe M Assassin probably stands for Master Assassin. You will want to max that at max at 15. It will reduce the cooldown of Swift Step by 15 seconds. Swift Step will allow you to teleport behind your enemy and use another Lock Maw. Use another Decapitate from a range of 12 meters so this is this is a very very strong very strong skill you definitely want to get this skill as soon as you are a, a demon assassin all right let's take a look at the rare demon skills we have smoke screen which will decrease the damage you take when you shadow walk when you go to disappear at level 10 it will decrease the damage by 20% and also your invisibility will not be removed by enemy skills at level 15 this will increase the defense that you have while in the smoke screen by 30 percent for um for four seconds <laughs> so it's only a four second decrease in damage and you're already you're already invisible and running away so you're going to be outside of that smoke and, and you, sh you this isn't a very good skill smoke screen is just a so-so skill you're going to use it for escape if you use it as a defensive sh a buff for four seconds i don't i don't think i don't think smoke screen is a very good skill but if you do have it you can raise it to level 10 maybe 15. Ice Jail is a super good OP demon skill, one of the best demon skills. At level 15, you will have a 15% chance to freeze targets. It's only a half a second freeze, but it's 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 so good. It is it procs a lot. 15% chance to 
to freeze targets. Aqua Walk, also a super good skill at level 10. Your subsea strikes have a 35% chance to become invisible. At level 15, Aqua Walk will give you a 7.5% damage boost to your subsea strike and also a 35% chance to invisible. So what you can see is a lot of demon rare skills will give you the ability to turn invisible when you sub C strike. Not only do you not only do you not take damage, but it will be another way for you to escape. So for demon assassins, they are a very elusive assassin, one which can come in strike. They have three seconds of a 20% attack buff. And then they can sub C strike and disappear into thin air again. If they have Aqua Walk. If they have Aqua Walk. Smoke screen not so good. Ice Gel's super annoying. I love that skill. Um Shadow Escape. When HP drops before 20%, there is a 10% chance to gain invisible and gain disappear. This effect can only be triggered once every 180 seconds. So once every three minutes you will just go invisible before you're about to die which is nice which is very nice however when it comes down to it the sage assassin will in the end when you have when you have the rare skill bloodlet and blade wind you will just have more attack killing power than a demon assassin who has more escaping power if this guide has helped you i mean just Please like, subscribe, tell all your friends about it, comment below, and to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on October 15, 2020. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.